Welcome back, All American Arts. Today I'm gonna to make a multicolored sticker to show you a couple different ways how to do that. This one's gonna be an iron worker, American themed decal, uh, black, blue, and red. Um, I'll make two different sizes because I'm gonna do that two different ways how to transfer it on to what I'm putting it on. Show you how to, the easiest ways to do it. Check out the video, make sure at the end you like and subscribe, check out other videos that I've done. Um, hit that like button, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So we're going to start by importing our image file. Import. This one, iron, iron worker sticker here. This one I'm going to do. Open that up. Put it in here, vectorize. That's gonna divide it by color. I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to. Um, it's not picking up the blue on this side, so it's not gonna trace it. You're gonna wanna add another color. So I got the blue there now. Click on trace. Now we got them all traced out, <coughs> all separate colors. Click accept. Now it's vectorized. We're going to go up to our cut here. Actually, I'm going to get it to the right size first. Like I said before, I'm going to do two of them, two different sizes. <clears throat> and the smaller one, I'm going to put registration marks on it. We'll use them to line it up, each color. Because we're going to cut each color separate, and then we'll use those to line it all up. So they perfect how it is in the original image here now we'll go up to cut and we're separated by color here see if we didn't have it separated by color it'd show it all let's separate by color <coughs> It's black, red, and blue. I don't know if you can see where the registration mark is here. Those will stay in the same spot to where the picture is, so everything is going to line up. But we'll start by cutting black. I'll put some black in the cutter and we'll do that quick. Alright, we're going to cut the black out. We're going to click on cut now. We're going to switch it back to red by clicking on the, the red color up here. We're going to do the same by clicking cut now. Then I'll ask to proceed. Click yes. The blue loaded up. We're going to do the same thing. Click on the blue tab. Press cut. Got our three colors cut out. We're going to go ahead and weed out, weed out our vinyl. That's just move, uh, removing all the excess stuff we don't want. Start by grabbing the outer edge, slowly pulling it off at a sharp angle. Yeah. 
you have something to catch, just kind of help it out with your X-Acto knife, just pick it up. We got all of our colors cut out and weeded out. We're going to put them together. I'm going to show you all a couple ways to do that. This one has the registration marks, which are the little stars on all, all four corners. And that's what we'll use to actually line up our colors. Start with black. Really don't matter too much. I'm gonna take that, pull the final off the backing, and then I'll pick up the red. So we'll use those registration marks to line, line it up. So put the black registration marks over the red ones at two of the corners. Get those lined up. Before we drop the rest of it, we'll kind of hold it in place. See it lined up perfect. Now we'll lift both the black and the red up. And this one I lost one of the top stars when I was weeding it out, so we'll use the bottom ones to line it up. sticker there you use in registration marks. Wherever I put my blade. Just take that, cut it out. sticker you can sell or put on something yourself. 
they're doing it, we'll be doing it all separate. So putting transfer paper over each piece and applying it to the surface that you want it on. All at one color. One color at a time, I should say. So we'll start by putting transfer paper on all three colors. transfer paper on all three colors so I'll take you out to the garage that's where I'm gonna put this one on the wall out there we're out in my garage here I'm gonna start with the black we're doing this one different than the one with the registration marks obviously we're gonna do it all one piece putting it on the finished surface starting with black because in the picture that one's the most vertical one it's pretty much straight up and down in the picture I'm going to put that where I want it. Of course, I forgot to squeeze you. start pulling off the transfer paper, making sure it sticks to the sheet rock.
Just for those two rocking not the stickiest surface, plus it's out in my garage that's really dusty, obviously. I did spray off the wall before I did it, but still going to be a little bit of dust on there. So just use your hand, get some heat on there. You can also use a hair dryer, just don't burn it. Just throw a little bit of heat on there and that'll make it stick a lot better. But I got the black down there. Next time I go for the red. I'm going to pull the transfer paper off with the red off the backer. You can see in the camera I was probably blocking it, but I had these right between his arm there and on his back and in his front arm and underneath his chin I got good spots to line it up there. That's just what you gotta look for in each color. Some are good to line it up. I was looking at the little one actually. The best way to put it. Now we'll put our last color on, blue. So there you have it, a couple of different ways to transfer it. Um, obviously the registration marks are a little bit easier. Um, it all depends on what you're doing, how much detail it has, um, how big it is, I guess. Sometimes it's e easier to do it as one piece because it's easier to work with smaller pieces if you're doing something really big. but something with like a, a lot of words or something you're trying to do like a shadow or something behind the words probably be easier with the registration marks it's just all personal preference uh, try out both of them see what works for you if you got any questions or anything leave it in the comments and again make sure you like and subscribe definitely help me out